Nell Carter was widely known for being the star of the 80s sitcom Give Me a Break, where she played Nell Harper from 1981 to 1987. Sadly, little does the world know that Nell lived through numerous dilemmas throughout her life before, after, and during the show. She passed away on January 23, 2003, at the age of 54. Preceding her death, she displayed just how much of a survivor she was after enduring strife that no one else should ever have to. On July 4th, 1965, Nell went with a group of people to one of the clubs where she often sang as a gig for extra money, hoping to become a professional singer one day. After her performance, she got a ride heading back home with a man that she thought she knew fairly well. Along the way, the man stopped the car near a wooded area and told Nell to get out. He pointed a shotgun at her and then took her between some trees and raped her. When she got home, she told her sister Willie, her brother Bernard, and her mother, but they never called the police. Rape wasn't something you talked about back then outside of the household. A few weeks later, while Nell was still healing, she received some life-altering news. She learned that she was pregnant. Nell felt alone and confused. She hadn't been taught about the birds and the bees and little support was given to her by her mother who blamed Nell for the rape. Nell soon birthed a beautiful baby girl named Tracy. She sometimes told people that her daughter was the product of an early marriage, but that was just a lie her brother helped her come up with as a measure of protection from even more pain as a result of people judging her for having a baby so young and out of wedlock. She later revealed the truth in an interview in 1994. Nell tried raising Tracy by herself, but motherhood came with so many responsibilities that she was not prepared to endure, so it was arranged that her sister Willie would raise Tracy. Willie was 12 years older than Nell, married, had children of her own, and a lovely home. Years later, Nell married musician George Krynicki. George left her after just 18 months of marriage because of her heavy drug use. In an interview, Nell stated that at a Tony Awards party in 1978, a famous person whose name she didn't mention gave her cocaine. She also said that it was the most amazing feeling in the world. Before then, she had just used food and alcohol to escape all of her problems. But after being introduced to cocaine, she would eat, do a show, go home, lock herself away in a room, and snort cocaine until she passed out. Nell attempted suicide in the early 80s, and around 1985, she finally entered a drug detoxification facility to break her long-standing cocaine addiction. In 1992, she had surgery for two brain aneurysms, and by 1993, she was finally clean and sober. She ultimately passed away from heart disease, which was complicated by her diabetes. After all that Nell Carter went through while here on earth, she definitely deserves to have rest in heaven. May Nell Carter continue to rest in peace. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.